again love the fact that it's a backpack hands-free baby hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope that you are doing well if you're new around here hi so today's video is going to be a review video and it is going to be a review on my Prada backpack. Now, I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I will link it up here, or is it here? Wherever it is, I'll link it up here. Um, but I did mention in one of my previous videos that I do actually feel like my Prada backpack has been one of the best designer purchases that I have made. Now, I do have a fair few um, designer handbags, but this bag, I feel like it's actually been life changing. So yeah, we're gonna get into this. I'm gonna tell you all the ins and outs. If you guys are considering getting, you know, a designer backpack, I would say that this one is really, really good. So let's jump into the video. Okay, so first things first, this is the bag. <laughs> So it's in that nylon material. Oh, that one's open. It's in that nylon material. It's got the Prada logo on the front here as well. It has two compartments here at the front. And then obviously this is how you open it. So it has a buckle fastening, but it also has a like a clip fastening as well, where it's, um, what's that word? Oh my God, what is the word? This is really embarrassing. <laughs> magnetic so this bit has got that magnetic bit on it and then it also has listen this bag is making sure that no one ain't taking nothing out of this bag okay no one ain't teeth in nothing because it's literally got like three ways to close the bag i really like that why have i not noticed that before i've had the bag for nearly a year okay <laughs> yeah so it's got this drawstring bit here and then it opens up and it has a zip compartment. It also has another compartment that has the um, kind of like magnetic strip on it. So it just like clasps back together. And then it just has the inside basically. It also came with this, but I don't actually use it. I just leave it in the bottom of the bag, but it's basically like a little, it's like a little purse. Oh my God, I think I've broken it. Yeah, so it's like a little purse. Got the logo on it. And um, when I actually bought this on the website, it's got this little clasp bit on the side here that you basically like attach it to. But I just felt like, do I need that really hanging off of my bag? No, but it is a nice addition, I guess. And you know, if you're just popping out or something, you could just use this by itself. So that's actually quite good. So yeah, this is all I currently have in the bag at the moment. I have a packet of tissues <laughs> and a mask. 2020 came out, I was hard and fast guys, hard and fast. So yeah, I've been looking for this. What else is in here? Oh, more tissues, cream, hand sanitizer. One tissue left in there and some perfume okay cool so as you can see with the two um little pockets that it's got at the front it has the um magnetic clasp detail um to close it and also it's got the same fastening and then if you look closely on the silver detailing that it has it also shows the um it just says prada on it basically so yeah that is the look of the bag it has two straps And that is it that is the bag so i picked up the bag on the actual prada website and when i purchased it it was 999 pounds i think it's probably the same price right now that is i don't think that's the most i've spent on a bag but um i think that obviously that is quite a lot of money however <laughs> The amount of times that I have used this bag, the, you know, cost per wear is really, really good.
So basically, I wanted a backpack. Um, so I have a full time job and sometimes like I just don't want to hold anything when I'm commuting to work. I can't be bothered. I don't want anything in my hands. You know, I don't want to be like holding anything, have anything, you know, one side on my shoulder. I just wanted to be hands free so yes i knew that i wanted a backpack and i knew that i wanted a designer backpack and i'd been i'd actually been eyeing up the um prada backpack for ages for a very very long time and um where was i looking i think i was looking on I think it was harvey nix's website harvey nichols and um they have a part on there where you can buy like pre-loved bags and I was eyeing up, they had a black one on there. It was a different version to the one that I have because it was a much smaller version, but I'd been eyeing it up, eyeing it up, eyeing it up. And I think on the website it was like either 600 or 700 pounds. And obviously that's the pre-loved price. So I thought to myself, well, I might as well just invest and pay that little bit extra and then just have it as like a new bag where you know no one else has used it so um yeah that was the main reason why i bought the bag also because i just wanted a classic backpack now the prada backpack to be fair most prada bags like they are classic they don't really go out of fashion so i knew that you know i could have this bag in like five years for example and it would still look nice it would still be you know in style it wouldn't look it's not like a trendy bag where it comes in and then it goes out of fashion this will you know stay in fashion for basically forever so i was like okay this is a good investment you know um i'm gonna get enough wear out of it it's not going to go out of fashion and I also just really like the design of the bag. So yeah, I decided to get it in black because, you know, practicality and all of that good stuff. I just wanted to make sure that it went with everything. <clears throat> I just wanted to make sure that it went with everything and um, also because, like, I just really like the look of black bags, basically. So um, yeah, that's why I got it in black and also because it just looks nice, basically. Okay it look good <laughs> so that was another reason why i was like yep this is the bag that i want i've got the money i want to spend i want to spend <laughs> so yeah that's why i decided to purchase it basically so obviously i already described the bag to you but this bag i feel like it I was actually shocked when I got it and realised how much space it had inside of it. The fact that I was able to have my work laptop in there, have like if I brought lunch to work I could put that in there as well, any other like additional bits like the bag fills out really really well and also with the kind of um, buckle detail obviously if you want to make the bag the fastening tighter you just obviously put it on the tightest one but if you've got a lot of stuff in the bag then you can literally just put it on the loosest one but then the bag will still be covered and that's another reason why i really really liked it as well so in terms of size this can carry a lot of stuff so i was really really happy about that another really good feature on the bag is that you know you can change the length of the straps like things like this for me really really make a difference because there's been times where I've had like backpacks or rucksacks in the past and they haven't had the fastening to make it tighter or looser so it just if it doesn't fit right it just doesn't fit right and it's all there like hanging off your back whereas with this one if you want to have it tight you can have it tight if you want to have it loose you can have it loose and yeah I just think the just the design of the bag itself is really really nice again I love the kind of um, silver I love the silver hardware on the bag I like the buckle detail that it's got going on on the bag as well and I also like the fact that with this bag if I'm going to work like I wear like smart casual clothes to work if I'm going to work I can put this bag on and I will still look put together if I'm running errands and I'm in a tracksuit, I can still put this bag on and I'll still look put together. It goes with so many outfits and I always bang on about this. <laughs> if you've watched the majority of my videos, you know that I love bags or not even just bags, anything that is versatile, clothes, bags, accessories, all of that good stuff. If it is versatile, I am definitely here for it because 
I want to get my cost per wear. I want to make sure that, you know, I can utilize my bags, clothes, everything a lot. So yeah, really, really love that about this bag. So I would say that my favorite thing about the bag is the size and the pockets. I just love the fact that I can fill up this bag if I want to. And then I really like the fact that it's got the additional two pockets at the front. So this is where I'm putting, you know, my hand sanitizer, like you saw, my lip glosses, my tissues, all of that good stuff can go in there. And then obviously the inside of the bag has a lot of space to it. And then we've got two additional little pockets and obviously one of them is a zip pocket, which I really, really like as well. So I'll put my purse in there just to make sure that it's, you know, secure. So yeah, the size, really, really good selling point for me. And the fact that I was pleasantly surprised at how much it could, you know, fit in here was a really, really good sign. I also love all of the fastenings because obviously when you're wearing a backpack, like you do have to be quite careful because if it doesn't have a secure fastening or a secu secure closure, anyone could literally just, whoop, <laughs> mine, <laughs> ticking, <laughs> steal your purse, <laughs> let me go shopping. Like they could literally just steal your stuff and you would be none the wiser because obviously it's on your back. But with this little butte, you know that it's gonna be very, very difficult for someone to get in because they're gonna have to go through you're gonna have to go through that, then you're gonna have to go through that. <laughs> Why am I talking like that? But yeah, you'll literally have to go through like three different fastenings to get to the inside. And then obviously on the outside, it's just two fastenings. But yeah, I really appreciate that. Cause you know, I don't want to get robbed basically. So yeah, really, really like that about the bag. Now. <laughs> When I tell you my least favorite thing about the bag, you're literally gonna be like, Patrice, like, what? <laughs> because my favorite thing about the bag, or one of my favorite things about the bag, and one of my least favorite things about the bag is the fastenings. So, you know, I was saying before, like, yeah, I'm really happy, like, it's gonna be, like, really difficult for someone to just get into the bag. Sometimes it's really difficult for me to get into the bag, okay? Like, there's been times where I'm there struggling, opening the back, <laughs> trying to get my purse out and it just like, it's just annoying sometimes. I'm like, please just be easy. So yeah, it's a good thing and also a bad thing. But considering the, you know, the positives of the fastening and the fact that it will be very difficult for someone to rob me, rob me, I need to stop complaining, okay? So maybe I'll take that back. Maybe that's not my least favorite thing about the bag. Let me think, is there anything else that I really dislike about the bag? Hmm, I'm just looking at it now. I don't think so, you know. I think everything about this bag is everything that I wanted it to be. And that's why I would say that this is probably my best designer bag purchase. And, you know, I've had other like designer bags in the past, but with this one, I don't know. I just think because it's just so practical. It's just so easy. Like you literally just know, oh, I'll just pick up my rucksack and go. Whereas with some of my, with some of my other designer bags, you know when like a designer bag just looks too, this is gonna sound so stupid, but you know when a designer bag looks too designery, <laughs> like it's just doing the most. This bag doesn't do that. It's very just, simple but it's chic but it's also designer and i kind of like designer bags that aren't too obvious to the eye whereas you know there's some designer bags it's just like boom like hi i'm a designer bag and i'm just a bit like Ugh. yeah like i don't know i hope that you guys get what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah i like the fact that this is just very simple it's very classic and you know if you're just looking at it, you wouldn't necessarily think that it's a designer bag. And I kind of like that about it because it's just, I don't know. I feel more comfortable wearing it on a day to day. Whereas some of my other um, designer bags, if I'm just popping to the shops, like, am I really gonna be carrying it with me? No, but with this one, if I'm just popping to the shops because it's 
a smart casual bag it doesn't look like I'm uh, overdoing it if that makes sense so yeah I really appreciate just the simplicity of the bag I really really like that okay so how would I rate the bag I think I would actually have to give this bag a 9 out of 10 or maybe even a 9.5 like the reason why I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10 is obviously because <laughs> because I'm extra and I'm sometimes struggling to like open the bag quickly but yeah I'd give it a 9.5 I really really like this bag I'm so glad that I purchased it and I just know that I'm just gonna have it for such a long time and it's just we're just friends like we're cool again in terms of like cost per wear all of that good stuff I get my wear out of this bag like this is the bag that I'm reaching for majority of the time especially now because it's like autumn I have to make sure that I've always got an umbrella with me if I need to carry any like additional stuff I know that it's gonna fit in this bag so yeah absolutely love it also again love the fact that it's a backpack hands-free baby don't have to worry about you know having something in my hand like you know sometimes you just like <laughs> don't want anything in my hands I just want to be free and also in winter as well like you want your hands to be free so that you can put your hands in your pocket to keep your hands warm so yes I'm thinking about all of these things when I purchase bags <laughs> because a girl's hands get cold okay so yeah I just need to make sure sometimes that I've got hands free and I just have a bag that's just resting on my back. I don't have to worry about, you know, extra weight weighing me down on one side. Like, you know, when you've got like a tote bag, for example, and you've got everything just on one side and your one shoulder is just slowly dying. With this bag, obviously, you don't need to worry about that. It's all equally distributed on your back. So it's got health benefits as well, guys. So yeah, this bag is my favourite designer bag of 2020. I'm really, really glad that I bought it. I do feel like it was money well spent. Okay guys, so that is the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, then please make sure to give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe as well and make sure that you follow me on Instagram at fashion and face. But yes guys, I will catch you in the next one. Bye.